This is probably the most common layout method that uh, my father used and used it for years and uh, plenty of stairs are still standing. So this one here, line the framing square up with the, the front of the framing square up with the riser and then you will simply mark the back because you'll be looking for an inch and a half um, distance here. So again, the one side of the framing square is an inch and a half, the other is two inches. So there we have an inch and a half mark and we will simply continue the tread mark across and uh, that will give us our line. Now these, um, this stair, this method right here, it actually could be a problem if the stair stringer cracked um, at, at a certain spot. Um, it might not be the most preferred method. Um, it's actually a method that I quit using over time because of that. Again, don't forget to scratch out the little marks that uh, could be confusing when you are cutting the stair stringer. And that is how you lay this particular stair stringer out. More information will be found in the book on this type of layout.